Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Tame and Train series. We have a new survivor, Annette, who is interested in cooking, crafting, and can help us with farming as well as intellect, which is observation and researches. And one of the first thing we'll have to do is set up the priorities. So I did that offline. I was just trying to balance out different activities which we have to do among these eight survivors. So this is what we have come up with. Katina will be helping with handling, harvesting and delivery. So basically everything in and around the camp is taken care of. Ken will be helping with hunting, scavenging. So we'll have those two areas covered. Rakha helping with construction cutting, scavenging and mining. He has a priority on crafting as well, but only if he doesn't have anything else to do, which has been prioritized previously. Rita is our harvester, like the person who will take care of most of the farming events, which includes harvesting, ranching, planting, and if time permits, then she can do deliveries as well. Emelyn, we wanted her to be a backup hunter, but she doesn't have a proper weapon right now. So till that happens, hunting will be on low priority, but she will help with cutting and mining, which will happen a lot because we have to construct quite a few things. Krista is our main researcher. Our researchers are going really strong and we want to keep it that way. Xander is our handling person, as well as the person who will take care of branches, mining, and will be our backup crafter. And Annette is our main crafter. So this is how the priorities have been settled for now. We'll make changes as we see there is some off balancing happening. But as of now, this is what we will go ahead with. In addition to that, we have scheduling as well. So Annette will follow the same schedule as every other survivor other than Xander, who is our night owl. So his schedule is more like for the night. One small change which we have made is the morning hours have been changed from relaxation to anything and we'll see if that brings any efficiency gain for us. So with that, with these changes, let's get going with our episode today. From research side, we are researching energy storage right now. So there are quite a few things which are lined up and maybe once we are through with a couple of those, we'll come back here and we will line up a few more things based on where we want to be. First thing we want to do for Enet is to construct some shelter so we can't construct a room in a day because we have to collect material as well as spend some time in construction so in the meantime we'll give her a place to sleep maybe this is a good one this is where all our survivors are started so nothing different we have research energy storage and krista had a research insight whenever krista has a research insight it means that he has fast tracked the research and we have an animal attack yep so ken is still hunting with the laser pistol which means often more often than not he is getting attacked because he has to go too close to these animals come on mate leave us alone ah this is a relentless one cool From food side, we are okay. And now that we are in spring season, we have to start collecting, harvesting a lot of food. So let's keep an eye on that. From food side, we can add the hot drinks coffee. We have researched it. So maybe five of them will be good. And we can add similar here. Hot drinks, coffee until five. we can have our furnaces set up as well so these two furnaces will be for baking so let's set them up concrete maybe until we have 500 and similarly for this one we can have just dedicated this one for concrete the other two furnaces they are taking care of your metal alloys so from scrap we are saying we can have 110 so this is times actually we'll change this to until so smelt scrap metal until 100 this is much better and we'll make a similar configuration for this one these this is already configured properly cool 
We have thunderstorm, so a good idea to protect our entire camp with these things, with these rods. Let's do that. As you can see, yeah, there are thunderstorms. Nice. I think we have most of the areas covered. It's just making sure that we have nothing left. Yeah, this is good. We have a spaceship debris crash. A large burning object, most definitely a chunk of a spaceship, crashed in a distance. There was something peculiar about its shape. Intriguing. Maybe we can ask Rita to go for an expedition. So we have control module, peculiar crash site. Hmm, why not? Rita, let's go. In order to prepare for a new room for Annette, I will probably move our ranching stuff, our animal sheds, maybe around this area. So I'll make that change and then I'll bring you guys back in. So here we are. Hopefully these things will be moved soonish. And in the meantime, we have our expedition discovery on feathers. So some of these animals, they drop feathers and these feathers can be processed into cotton. And that's again a tame and train update. We have researched brewing, so let's place our barrels. Wooden barrels, yes. Maybe a couple of these food in the open world they are ready for harvesting and we'll make full use of open world that saves us a lot of time in harvesting and plantation so we'll definitely make use of it i suppose we will need to do some hunting as well and in the meantime we have aggressive animal attack uh oh okay so we have these junos hmm i don't like them at all <laughs> they're a tricky bunch to deal with okay how and what to do hmm this is not going to be easy we have three junos here okay let's see we'll basically wait them to attack us at the crash site with some research it should be possible to use the core in the construction of orbital communication devices oh okay so we have the end research ready with us the end game research which is the orbital radio fantastic this is a good find because now we can trigger any game whenever we want. But it's not going to be easy. We have to get our defenses ready. We are already sweating with just three Junos here. Imagine what would happen if we have more of them. So yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. Ken, I would say that this is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to go towards this side right now, mate. Let's cancel this one for you. Yeah. And maybe you can primarily come here. Yeah, it will be a good idea. I think the attack will start anytime soon. We don't have any other pistol or anything. Okay. Hmm. Where are you, Emelyn? Just be very close by. Xander, you in meantime, go and get yourself this crossbow. And the attack has started. So, Emelyn, take this spot. Mm -mm -mm, I think we have just these two guys. And Katina, where are you? Katina is there. Hmm. Not the most promising spot, but again, we have no other option. Let's see. We'll fast track this a bit. So, these insects should be easy to handle i suppose the traps will take care of them who knows they are unaffected by the traps so that's a challenge okay a lot is happening around here oh this is good this was really good so we took care of all the three junos that's fantastic very lucky nice so unlocked. And we can mark all of these insects for butchering. 
We need animal meat, I guess. Yeah, we do. So why not? Heat wave. The outside temperatures are 8 degrees higher than the usual. No problem at all. I suppose we will need some more traps in and around this area, so maybe let's place them. Yeah, these attacks are gonna get more and more difficult, so we have to keep investing into our defenses. Similarly on this side. We can put some traps around here. And maybe some on the other side. But yeah, the probability is very less that we'll get attack on this side. But yeah, why not? Let's protect our structures. We might need some more stones for us to craft the cement. So maybe I will mark a big area for mining of rock chunks. And maybe some areas for cutting down the wood. Not the plants, but maybe trees. Yeah. And five fallen trees, absolutely take them. And some area around here for mining. So we have these fruit plants. I think they are ready for harvesting as well. So we'll take them slowly and gradually. Uh, this is a pretty huge field. <laughs> so let's not waste, let's not put all our energy into harvesting these. Otherwise, they will just be spoiled with time. We have researched electronics crafting, which is really good. And we have no queue research, which means we have new selections to be made. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm, maybe nanotubes printing will be a good idea. Wine making will be a good idea. We can go with something around electronics. So having a heating pump, I think this will be good. And we should be having some defenses. Laser pistols, maybe not that much. I really want to go till railgun sniper. Once we have nanotubes, we'll be able to construct or manufacture craft railgun snipers. Maybe the last one would be, yeah, the graphene solar cells and battery optimizations. Yeah, let's go with these. And in the meantime, our ranching area has been shifted here, which means I can deconstruct this area and, and move this guy here, a bit here, because we'll construct another room here. We have a newborn, another Alpen, which are born tamed when they are born from the tamed animals. So we'll place another large animal spot I think this will be the count we will maintain for Alpens, five of them. Having any more is not going to make any sense. So we'll start to slaughter a few of them, which is not the nicest thing to do. But again, yeah, that's what the mathematics says as of now. So this is our fifth Alpen, Alpen 5. Want to give a pretty name to these animals? Please drop in a comment. It will be a great, great suggestion. Now this area is cleaned, which means we can start constructing the room. The so housing room, should we go for the stone one? Now we'll go with wooden just like everyone else. And what is the orientation of roof? Okay, we'll go sideways. 5 by 4 is the size. We have gone for each and every other rooms, which gives a big room happiness factor. Yeah, this looks good. And then we can place window, which can be a wooden again. Yep, like that. We can suggest the flooring, which can be a stone paving actually. Yeah, so this should be good. These two barrels are constructed so we can ferment ale on these maybe 25, 30. Yeah. That will be enough. This one will probably not even use. Yeah, why to increase handling work for our folks? This is enough. Yeah. 
scavenging is going full speed we have scavenged 74 fuel 111 scrap this is really good but this is funny look at this alpha is sleeping with the dog this is so cute oh my god this is really nice another quick change which we need to make is that our planting is not happening as fast as we want it to be so i'll just make katina as our main primary planter here so she will harvest but she will also help with planting so maybe that is a good idea yep and it has started the planting has started which is precisely what we need and it has taken up all the crafting responsibilities which is good to see these tailoring items they take a lot of time so we need to have a dedicated survivor who can take care of these clothing needs as well as help with a lot of crafting which we need as we go forward we will mark a few sites for mining of ore so this is good this is probably one of the site and we can have another one if we can find one while we were talking about ore we have a shooting star expedition okay let's send someone there maybe next morning our traps are constructed and I will place a few more in the center. Just making small improvements. Hopefully they will pay off big time. We have another pregnant animal. Alpen. Hmm. Tough times now. Because we can't have more than five. Otherwise, we will be spending all the time on the ranch. I would actually prefer it to be four. So let's see. This room for Annette is almost ready. I think we can place the furnitures in there. Maybe a bedding, a stone bed or a wooden bed will be good. And we can put it with some leather. Why not? You have joined us at a very luxurious moment, Annette have all the fun and we will place the fireplace just like we have for everyone else cool we can probably go for the expedition so we had the shooting star maybe ken is better placed for that one let's send him the expedition is complete a nest pollen from space. Maybe you fell out of the balloon and hit your head. <laughs> That's mean. Don't be so mean. He's just trying to help. We can start investing into wind turbines and batteries. We still have our research pending on the solar cells. But yeah, we can at least start investing into these things. So maybe three or four of them. Yep. And maybe a couple of batteries to start with. We need to place the power poles, which can be wooden. So maybe we can start something like this. Yep. Yeah. And then we can start moving towards our areas. Yeah, that should cover and then we can extend on this side. Yeah, this should be good for now. A lot of constructions to be done. That's fine. We have a dedicated construction person who is the best construction person on this planet. So now we can get rid of this temporary arrangement for Annette and she can enjoy the warmth of her room. We will keep harvesting from open world. We really, really need to make use of these opportunities. So bushes, heptagonias, buttermelons, anything which we get, which is close to the camp and is ready for harvesting. We will just mark it for harvesting. 
and also we'll need to keep hunting just so that our meat count is not going down so hunt these guys and the bloated insects marking some more areas for wooden or for the rock mining wood count is pretty decent so that's not a problem oh so many animals around here we can mark this area maybe soonish and this one we have unmarked so we can enable it now there's a lot of watermelons here as well nice pretty good map actually i like it look at this like and it has been tailoring day in day out and still the count still remains and we have only asked for three of each april so it's not as if we are asking her to you know make a zara series <laughs> now with this area being cleaned i think i will move this guy around here and what it will do is it will enable us to start constructing in this area i want to have a central area around here where we can have all our benches cooking sitting area entertainment area everything yep we can construct it now let's do it the housing room this one can be a stone maybe maybe not Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a tricky one uh, uh uh let's do it why not and the orientation yep will be similar to the others oh like this this is going to be a huge room yep connecting all the other rooms giving us enough space for everything and now we can have a door which can connect all the other rooms with this central area and that's why previously we have removed all these doors because we wanted to have the central room first look at that beautiful beautiful plus a couple of exits from the room maybe on all the three sides why not and we need to have some windows probably one here yeah overlooking that side another one on this side this should be good maybe we can place one here why not and the flooring the flooring can be wooden actually yeah that way we are kind of balancing a load between woods and stone we will be insufficient 894 rock oh my god that's a huge amount of mining so let's mark all the areas which we can see right now on the map mine mine day in day out so now we have all of these electrical appliances constructed maybe we can start with an electricity or a light in our rooms rooms for the survivors we can have ceiling lamps i think that will be good Uh oh okay self-destruct alert so we have a new expedition on self-destruct okay that's fine we'll do it right after we place a ceiling lamp in all the rooms yep this is fine i think we can place in this room as well the new room which is getting constructed let's see ah this is better actually here yeah. <laughs> i can see the alignment much better over here uh, much easier to place these light bulbs when we are constructing the room rather than after constructing the room okay so we have aggressive animals 22 waiting for us just when we were running short of insect meat we have 22 of these animals attacking us and that should not be a problem i think we have added a few of these traps so i don't think we'll have to break a sweat in getting rid of these guys let's see how it goes And the attack has started, which means we'll have to bring Ken into action over here. Rita can help us from this area. And Emelyn, I think Xander would be awake. Yep, he's awake, so he can help 
bomb here. Yeah, sounds like a good option. And we can go a bit faster as well. Twice the speed. A starving animal. That's not good. How is that possible? Uh, because the meat is finished for some reason. We have raw red meat, okay. Hmm, that's fine. We are getting meat supply here, right here, on our screen. Huge amount of insect meat, <laughs> which will take care of our food for a long, long time. Yep, these new traps coming into action, <laughs> helping us straight away. Just see, as soon as we have our line of attack or line of engagement a bit further off, it just gives that <laughs> relaxing feeling into our mind. Wow. Very nice. Xander haven't even started with the engagement yet. Maybe that's a clue that we need to add another tower here. I'm worried about this starving animal. The sooner this attack finishes off, the sooner we'll take care of it. We're almost through. Yeah, as expected, not even breaking a sweat around this. So maybe we can ask our survivors to get on with their day. The remaining of these insects, they will just give up on the traps. Nobody came on this side. That was interesting. And mark all these guys for butchering, please. Quick, quick, come on, Ken. We really need some food for our dogs. They are hungry. They are starving, actually. Not hungry, they are starving. What's the situation? Starving, minus 20. Health. Uh, we don't have that bar indicator for animals okay hmm it is a mild starvation okay we want to keep it that way i mean improve on that <laughs> but not going any worse than that here we are cool Can, can you transport that here directly? Bring food, yeah. This one is what? Yeah, this is the meat one. So bring food here, please. You started to drink. Come on, mate. Anyone else who can help? Not enough resources. Okay, got it, got it. will have soonish raw insect meat yeah. and here we have a food yes good researchers nanotubes 89 percent done this is a seven days research so yeah we are going pretty well couple of things that we need to do first one maybe this barrel we can assign it towards pickled vegetables forever and no glitter caps the reason is that we have a lot of buttermelon right now and I don't want them to go to waste. Another thing is our count of wood is reducing. So maybe we can mark some more areas for cutting. Fallen trees. Yeah. Sticks is okay, but we can probably have some more. this storage is still in open but now that we have everything else maybe we can place a camp over here a scrap metal yeah something that could give a bit more life to these things uh, this is not going well yep cancel maybe Connecting one like this. Uh, 
I think this will be a big enough storage. And then we can have our camp, sorry, storage, stockpiles. We can have those here. Yep, this is good. We have researched nanotubes printing. So we have unlocked a new machine, 3D printer. I'm just waiting for this room to be constructed and then we will have our 3D printer, soldering bench, electrical cooking stuff, everything going inside that. The winemaking has been researched. So let's place another barrel around here. And that barrel can be used for fermenting wine. And we have a lot of fruits, bush fruits. So this will be a good addition. Severe heat wave. Outside temperatures are 14 degrees higher now. Which means some of our survivors will fall sick. They will have a slow movement as well. Hmm, all part and parcel of the game. We have enough medicines and everything. So I'm not too much worried. This is the new stone fireplace. So we will extinguish it just like all the other fireplaces and we'll turn them on when we jump into the winter season. Look at this again. Like the Annette has been tailoring for past all the days. That's all she has been doing and still she has not been able to finish the tailoring backlog. And we have not asked for much again. And this is where I feel these times need to be revised. Maybe just half in them. Vista is doing the researches. We are at heat pumping now. After that, we will have our graphene solar panels and our battery optimization, which will be good. I'll probably place laser pistols as well because we are not getting any luck with, with the pistols and the weapons. So we'll have to take matters in our own hands now. Printed components will be a good one as well. Yep, let's do these. This barrel is now constructed so we can ferment wine until maybe 20. Yep, that will be good. Now I think with 8 survivors we will need to review our counts for healing medicines as well. What maybe we can do is we can have some more bombs and everything. So let's say these healing bombs we can increase by 10. The liquid fuel is all good. We have a pacifier now which is fantastic. These are the two tailoring benches and here we have bandages so we can increase maybe bandages by 10 as well. This will be fine. And then can we craft anything else along with this? I suppose we can have some veggie leather until maybe we have 50 or 60. This will be fine. And similarly, we can put here as well. Veggie leather until 50. Now this plant is here, wide leaf plant, and we are observing it now. So this will probably be the tea leaf plant and hopefully we can enable tea making after researching this. This room is coming up pretty well. Almost 60% done. The good thing is that all our animals are in a real good health. So we can see that from here. So their growth is happening. The happiness is improving. So it's pretty good here. Yep, they're in good health and everything. Fantastic. And this is really good. This is promising, which means that we are taking care of most of the things. These dogs, they are getting trained. So their training level has reached 7 for this, for this particular one. And the second one, where is that? Oh, here it is. This guy is also at training level 7. Very nice. We can start using them in our fights. If let's say any insect gets inside our camp, then we'll use these dogs. And here it is, the training is going on.
I think as the level increases, the training takes more time as well. Beautiful. Look at these healthy dogs. Look at these elephants. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. New research. Tea boiling. Because we have discovered smoke leaf. Let's do that. Let's schedule it. Research. And where is the tea boiling? Hmm. We have to first produce the raw smoke leaf. So we can just harvest it. And we can plant a few here. Where is it? Here. So maybe a small field will be good enough. Yeah. This is good. Another thing about tame and train is this fertilize option. With this fertilize option, we can improve the growth which we can get into the fields. The thing which I have seen is it takes huge amount of time for our survivors to fertilize these fields. In the meantime, we have aggressive animals 116. Oh, 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 my God. Okay. Hmm. One thing which I really want to do real quick is to have another another of these flamethrowers i think that will be important rakha come on here please yeah and wait we will have another flamethrower i was thinking on the back of my mind that we might need a few flamethrowers here but yeah i think now it's the need so rakha can you construct these two please real quick Oh, look at these guys. They are dangerous. And the count is alarming. 115 already. My God. So the game is not getting any easier. <laughs> oh, come on. Faster. Uh, the materials are so far off. Another thing we need to just copy what we have here oh animal attack has started just one second i will copy restrictions from here and paste onto these guys before we start to move things which we don't want in this area okay and ken i think we'll need your help my friend join us here rita amelin and xander all of you take the hot spots and then let's see what happens. Let's run at, at twice the speed. Rakha is still <laughs> optimistic about getting these flamethrowers ready. And I think he will be. At least one he will be able to construct, hopefully. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. Come on, come on, come on, mate. Oh, good job fleeing from here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is what we were anticipating. We don't have Ken here yet. Okay, so Ken. Sorry. Just come here and start. Yep. Defend us. Come on. Very good. Come here now. Ooh. Not very good, but not very bad as well. A lot of animals, they came inside the camp. That's fine. The count was too high. I was already uncomfortable. We couldn't get our flamethrowers in time, but still we were able to manage this attack really well. No harm done. And look at that, this guy. We still have three more active animals, but they are nowhere close to us. And I think they will just give up while in the open world and it has reached crafting level 7 I'm thinking maybe we can keep investing into our traps a bit more so yep let's do around these many and some more around here similarly let's not ignore this side as well 
because whenever the attack will happen the counts will be the same whether they attack from this side or the other side yep this is good once this graphene solar cells are researched then we can go full on into our electrical productions i don't want to waste material in constructing these solar panels which take twice the material and give half the output let's mark some more animals for hunting our food count if you see despite of so much production so much things which we are taking from open world still the food count is reducing a lot which is a bit of a worry so i really need to get to the bottom of it let's keep hunting in the meantime let's keep getting these insect meats uh, this is a good area we can mark some of these guys here hunt and elephants hunt very nice uh, i was looking around the map and i found this boxer here maybe we can tame this yeah <laughs> this is the third type of dog so with this we will have all the three type of dogs which have been introduced in tame and train series and really looking forward to it a shooting star expedition meteor long trail blazed in the sky we know it we know that we have to do this one first thing tomorrow morning who will go this time maybe rita or ken i think ken should be a better candidate just in case if there's any scavenging involved he has higher physical skills gaming has been successful look at that so much love in the air so lead it xander bring boxer back to the camp oh, oh, oh and we have these these animals as well fantastic we'll tame those very nice i was looking looking for them they don't spawn that often and bring that animal here and while we are doing that maybe i will mark those animals yeah these guys for taming all the three oh not hunt not hunt Mm -hmm. what happened not enough food okay so we'll have to wait for ken oh but ken is an expedition wow our luck just our luck hmm no one else has a gun otherwise i would have asked them to go for hunting and he has hunted a lot but yeah oh that's not good what are you doing I discovered some interesting rocks where the meteorite fell. They likely contain ore. Collect whatever you can. Yeah, that's the reason we sent you there, mate. Just in case if we have scavenging, we can get full benefit out of it. Emelyn, what are you doing? You are transporting a few things. Okay. Mm, can you butcher these guys, I think? Yeah, we need that meat. We have researched graphene solar cells. So now we can construct those power graphene let's start with a couple of these oh maybe we will construct these guys here because the raw material is getting stored here i think that's a good idea yes let's have these guys here instead of having them on the other corner our folks will just keep running from pillar to post to provide for the materials and we can have a wooden connect wooden pole to connect everything up yeah like this and then we can have one which can connect the two areas very nice so now we can tame these junos so let's sorry gujos so we can yeah let's ask for some taming uh, these guys they just are so attacking this is the challenge we just if we wait for the day there's a high probability that they will go and get themselves done with a new one which is a good news but at the same time we will have to balance our numbers 
So I think we'll have to get rid of one of these animals. So I'll spend four male, female, female, female. So we have two male and three female. And the newborn is also a male. So we have three male and three females. Maybe we can get rid of one of the male. Maybe the earlier one. Yeah, this guy. He's not bonded as well. So yeah, makes sense. I mean, yeah, not the best choice. But yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, mate. And thanks for all the help. Our new boxer, he is in the camp now. We can enable training for this boxer. Yeah, he's getting friendly with our folks here. So we have now three dogs, the Vima Renner, the boxer and the Great Dane around here. Beautiful. All the three dogs in the camp. Fantastic. Let's look at this guy. Ah, beautiful. And look at this beautiful room which has been constructed now completely. Amazing. This is really, really beautiful. All our rooms are looking beautiful, but this one has something in it. It is made of a stone walls and a wooden carpet. Beautiful. Amazing. So I will start moving all of these things inside the room. And... Probably with that we can end this episode and when we meet next this room will be having all of these things inside it and we're gonna start placing those things properly and everyone will be indoors which means we can handle winters better. So if you like what you see then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and please share your feedback using comments. Hope you're enjoying the walkthrough. Keep safe and game on folks.